Hello. Today we're going to talk about the CMMT series controllers. There's a stepper controller and a servo controller. The AS is the servo, the ST is the stepper. And this video is going to describe uh, using Festo Automation Suite, which is Festo software to configure the controller, get the baseline. And then later we'll uh, create more videos to build on top of that. This particular project uh, will be built on later for the purpose of talking about the FESTA extended process data. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the FESTA website in order to download the software, the FESTA Automation Suite software. So let's start up a browser here. www.festo.com Pick your country. I'll go to Great Britain. Normally there's a support slash downloads link at the top of the page. Click on that. And as explained, so the CMMT AS, and then there'll be a, either a dash ST or AS, and then there's an EP in the so the EP is the Ethernet IP, so that's what we want to use. So back on the website. All you have to do is AS and then start looking. There's the EP. There's a couple of them here. I always just pick the first one. Click on that. Then you have some tabs down here. You've got uh, software tab, which is where we want to go. And you see here that there's some old and new uh, software. So the Festo Automation Suite is what we're looking for here. <coughs> so you would want to download the firmware because we want to have the latest firmware. You want to download uh, Festo Automation Suite plugin and Festo Automation Suite itself. So let's, let's see here plugin, plugin, plugin. Okay, so right here, this the way Festo Automation Suite works is it, it's a package, and then you install device plugins into the package and so in this case we would need to download this version right here this is the latest version and then additionally we need to install the latest CMMT so this one right here is what we're using today so we need to install this package after the fact now you can download all this here and install individually using the offline files or you can simply download this right here and this software itself has a built-in installation tool so it'll go to the internet and install the different packages as you so choose as you need them so now we'll move to the next step which is where you you've downloaded the packages and let's go see what it is here Okay, so I've downloaded a couple of files, or all of them, and even some older ones, and put them on this one directory here. So this Festo Automation Suite directory, you will get this one file here. You simply double-click it and follow the, the guide um, to install it. And once that's installed, it, then you need to start up the software. And uh, like I said before, I've downloaded the individual plugins so this is a dot fsi it's a plugin there's also what they call extensions which is fsx um, they extend the capabilities of the automation suite uh, cpx that's their festival plc we don't need that but we basically should install those ones there and this one here as a minimum okay so you've double clicked it you've installed it and next thing you're, you're going to do here is we're going to start it up to move on forward here. Okay, so icons on the desktop here. Double click the icon or go to the menu system and start it through the menu system. One, three, two, four is the existing latest copy.
so we're still in the installation stage. <clears throat> Okay, so when you first start up, of course, you don't have any of these recent projects over here on the left. I've, I've already been using this for a while. Um, and the first thing we want to do is, like we said, continue the installation. So we're going to go over here on the right and install device plugins. Well, I guess I clicked something wrong here. Install device plugins. Okay, so the first thing you do is you come down here and you do a search for updates. If you've downloaded the offline files then you simply click on install local uh, I've got I've got another instance open here just one second okay I've closed my other instance I'm going to click on install local file and then it's going to say okay which where's the file all right so at that point you can put in your own directory here and this is the directory I just showed you here. So you would come into here and select this file and say open. The Festo Automation Suite will do the rest. And you do this for the rest of the, the devices. I'm going to cancel this right now. Uh, the same thing applies for the extensions. You would say install local file. You put in a directory name here, the extension code assist. You would select this file and click on open and it'll install it. Typically it closes the Fest Automation Suite package or the container and then installs it and then reopens it. I'm not going to show this because everything on my computer is already installed. <clears throat> the alternative um, to downloading from the internet is to just do a search for the, for the update. So you have an internet connection, it's searching the Festo servers for the latest and greatest software. Then you come up to this area right here. It says, okay, this is up to date or it's not up to date. So there, any new software will show up right here. And then you would simply say install. And what will happen is it'll download those and then install them. And the same thing goes for the other ones here. The extensions are all the same. Same idea. Okay, so now we have the custom automation suite and the plugins and extensions all installed. 